In addition to standard operational expenses, REI Hub also allows you to track your capital expenditures, fixed assets including property basis, and accumulated depreciation. Capital expenditures, or CAPEX for short, are the funds spent to acquire, improve, adapt, or update your rental business, and fixed assets are how we track CAPEX by property or project. Examples of capital expenditures include purchasing a new investment property, replacing a major structural component or home system like a new roof or HVAC unit, or anything that the IRS considers to be further investing in or improving your business. These costs are handled differently than ordinary and necessary operational expenses like managing or maintaining your rental property. Operational expenses are entered in REI Hub using the expense transaction type and are deducted against your rental income on your profit and loss in Schedule E reports. CapEx is entered in REI Hub using the fixed asset purchase transaction type and costs are capitalized and then depreciated over time. Capitalizing these costs means that they are added to your balance sheet as an asset and held at their initial value. You then recover your cost via a tax-deductible depreciation expense every year. The IRS has defined the useful life of different assets, which determines the amount of depreciation you can take each year. So depreciation impacts your tax burden over time and not just in the year you make the purchase or capital improvement. Even if your CPA or tax preparer handles your fixed assets and depreciation on your behalf, you will need to report any new CapEx along with your operating income and expenses to them on an annual basis. You may also consider requesting a copy of their depreciation worksheet for your records. In REI Hub, you will find the Fixed Assets page under Organization on the left side menu. You will have a separate fixed asset for each property or improvement project. Once a property or project is placed in service, the asset is closed and the depreciation clock begins. You don't keep adding new CapEx transactions for a new project to a previous asset. So, for a property you have owned for several years, you likely will be tracking multiple fixed assets. One for the property itself, and one for each additional improvement project, such as the new roof you put on three years ago, and the replacement HVAC system you had to install last spring. Each asset is depreciated on its own timeline, starting from when it was placed in service. Create a new fixed asset by clicking Add Asset and choosing either a property for tracking property basis or something else, which is used for all other CapEx projects. You can give it a unique name and set the asset type, useful life, and date placed in service, all of which can be edited after creation as well. After a fixed asset has been created, you will use the Fixed Asset Purchase Transaction Type to associate expenditures with the asset and thereby providing the asset value or balance. The fixed asset is a bucket, and the transactions fill the bucket. You might have only one transaction, say if you paid a contractor to remodel a bathroom, or 100 transactions if you did it yourself. Either way, the total value of the fixed asset will be the same, and the costs will be capitalized and depreciated in aggregate. Your investment properties are the biggest capital expenditures and fixed assets that investors or their CPAs need to track. The REI Hub knowledge base includes information on inputting property basis depending on when you acquired the property. After you've created your fixed asset and populated it with transactions, you can view it in the fixed asset schedule. Navigate to the reports page and find it in the assets box. The fixed asset schedule can be pulled for an individual property or your whole portfolio and will display each asset in its own column. You can view the depreciable and non-depreciable basis, the amount of depreciation taken to date, and even a recommended depreciation amount based on the asset's value, placed in service date, and useful life, calculated using the straight line and mid-month conventions. The depreciation expense for each individual asset associated with a given property Combined to form the total annual depreciation amount that will be entered on that property's Schedule E at tax time. 
The REI Hub system does not automatically enter depreciation expenses, as many investors prefer their CPA or tax preparer to manage their fixed assets and depreciation. You can enter depreciation on an asset-by-asset -asset basis by navigating into the fixed asset and selecting Add Transaction, or in bulk using the system-generated recommended depreciation amounts from the fixed asset page. Thank you for learning more about fixed assets, capital expenditures, and depreciation in REI Hub.